Hey guys, it's FIFA Relic here and welcome to episode 27 of Last FIFA 15. We open up our weekly free pack and now we get Rafinha as our best player and he would sell for six to 700 coins eventually and apart from that a few contracts but not really anything good whatsoever. We get a chemistry style and uh, yeah, we also sold on a few of the things from last week's free pack and apart from that I got ready to play in, in Division 2 I switched to our fitness squad because the pie was injured and uh, well we won uh, all our all of our six first games in the division we secured the promotion and now we just have the title to play for basically and uh, yeah we have four games to get three points so um yeah that seems like something that is possible to accomplish so for my first game of this episode I'm up against a ridiculous BPL squad Yaya Ture, Sanchez, Assad, Costa company is just that squad was so tough to play against and he played very defensive was really tough to break down and it took 76 minutes before I got a goal and uh, yeah after that he went all out attack Assad on the ball he would cross it in and Yaya Ture there to head it in in the 86 85th minute I was so close at getting the perfect division, winning all the games and promoting to Division 1, but unfortunately I did draw it, and to be fair, I think that was fair enough in this game. He had a few more shots, but they were just from outside the box, didn't really trouble my keeper, and none of us really created any interesting chances in that game, so it was a pretty boring game overall, and after that... I got Nani injured and also still had Depay injured, so I went out and picked up the cheapest healing card and that was the one to fix Nani's injury. And I headed on into another uh, Division 2 game and yet another BPL squad there. I get my first chance with Karasma, but he would block off my shot and instead just Walcott running down the wing. I tried to cover the pass across, but in the end he could pass it off to Walk, uh, not Walker, to Fabregas, and he scored a quite nice little goal there to bring my opponent up 1-0. And then a bit of delay, I tried the first time pass, I got the touch and then the pass, he could pick it up and I was never catching Barkley. My keeper in the middle of no man's land, I didn't rush him out, he just did his own thing and my opponent went up 2-0. So at this point in time... I was a little bit frustrated that uh, I I just wanted to finish this division off perfectly, so lose uh, drawing that other game very late into I was a little bit annoyed, and then going 2-0 down in this game was even more frustrating. But I tried to get back, I got a goal from the kickoff to make it 2-1, and I kept on the pressure to try and get back in the game, but Martinez just caught up like nothing there, but uh, he's not able to get the ball away probably. I picked the Pick it up with Caresma, low cross, a heel shot, and on the rebound, it's Cavallo to make it 2-2. But he will get on the ball as well, nice little fake shot there, and somehow he can shoot it across to make it 3-2. How to stick and doesn't save that, I don't know. I get a header back though, from a corner to make it 3-3, and then I tackle it to him, he goes past my keeper. But luckily, he couldn't score, and in the end, the game ends at 3-3. A uh, pretty tough game. And I think a draw was fair enough uh, from this game. Uh, there were some weird bounces both ways. And uh, yeah, we had a pretty even amount of shots. And I'm sitting on 20 points now. Two games left and I just need a draw. Still a little bit disappointing that I just couldn't get the win from the two first games of this episode. But still, we're in a very comfortable situation uh, in the division. So I'm up against yet another BPL squad. Third time in a row, and it's Quadrado on the ball here in the 12th minute. He turns to the defender, past one more, he takes the shot and gets tackled and picks up a penalty, which Depay will convert and make it 1 0. And he had 24th minute on the ball again uh, to Vinaldo, a little fake shot on through to Quadrado, and he scores to make it 2 0. But then it just went wrong. He made a pass, I got a touch on to it, it bounced back to him, I got a tackle, bounced back. I just, like, at this point, I just couldn't get the ball off him. And, uh, yeah, in the end, he could break on through, make it 2-1. And the game was not over. I got the tackle and tried to pass it off, but just couldn't get the pass in time. And, uh, yeah, just, just keep just staying on the ball. I couldn't get him off it whatsoever. I got a touch to it. He got it back. And he could play it on through. And in the end, it was 2-2 just before half time. It's just, like, my defenders just went, like, I read the run there. He didn't log on. I just couldn't, I, I literally couldn't get the ball. My players just refused to take it. And in the end, it was 3-2 to him. Everything fell apart. And when I broke through on, on goal and a simple finesse shot, I couldn't hit the target. And instead, a corner would make it 4-2 to him. And that was just... Really annoying. I broke through one more time. I found it bar boy turned around I took a shot hit the post and That was pretty much the picture of the ending of this game once again I would break on through couldn't hit the target and uh, yet another chance he on the ball here 
Arrowlet a spin hanging on to the ball finding Quadrado able to go past a few defenders but the shot was not good enough and in the end I lose 4 to 2 it's just down to me not being able to convert my chances when I had them to be fair this could have ended as a draw I'd say he had 9 shots I had 10 I just couldn't hit the target the post shot it wide I just couldn't score and my defense just fell apart didn't lock on to the ball I felt they were useless in that match I, like, I felt I did something right, but it was just like I, I couldn't get the ball off him, unfortunately. I conceded too many stupid goals. So, all of a sudden, I had one game left in the division and I couldn't lose it. I was just like, am I really going to throw the title away? The fourth Premier League team in a row of this episode. I was just thinking, oh, let's just not lose this game. And uh, I get my first chance with the pie and as it was going, I would, of course, hit the post. And when I finally got the goal... I was offside, um, so yeah, nothing happened there, got another chance, Ibarbo on the ball into the box, and we pick up a penalty in the 24th minute, the pie will convert that and bring me up 1-0. So at least I got the lead, but in the 52nd minute, I threw a ball out, my defense was nowhere, Remy on the ball, he passed it across, he scores, but he was offside, Walcott way ahead of the play, and I was pretty happy about that, him not getting the goal there, and I knew I had to get another goal, just to be sure that he didn't get an early equalize, and then maybe took it all away in the dying minutes of the game, so I, I was a little bit patient, trying to find some space, and eventually I find Vinaldum and make it 2-0 in the 67th minute minute and straight from his kickoff uh, he ran right into me I picked the ball up a few quick passes and Vinaldum was away he rushed his keep and an easy chip to make it 3-0 and at this point the division was pretty much secured uh, he he would get a few consolation goals here one with Remy didn't really matter and uh, yeah, uh, I, I guess he was all out attack or something because he had a lot of players going forward when he went on the attack. I got a chance there and in the 90th minute he, he would hit me on a bit of a counter attack, get another goal. But to be honest, didn't really matter. I had a comfortable lead and I was able to win it in the end. But it was just like after this game, I was thinking, why didn't I get this win as my first game of this episode? And I would have won the title, got the perfect division, just won all games because the start of this division was perfect. We won six games and then... Two draws, a loss, and then finally the win. It, it took way too long. But in the end, we won the division. And in the next episode, we are going to build a new squad and maybe give Division 1 a go. So we'll see. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later.